All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to get fancy shader packs that you can use with Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Well, the simple answer is you just need a couple of things for this to work. You need Minecraft Bedrock, and you need a graphics card capable of displaying RTX ray tracing shaders. So to find out if you have shaders and they're working properly on your computer a look up your graphics card and google a list of graphics cards that support ray tracing it's usually like the 2000 series or higher of the nvidia graphics cards or a comparable version of amd it's like the 2060 series or like the 3060 series or higher from nvidia which is what i've got as a 3080 and then you want to pop into Minecraft Bedrock Edition, go to the marketplace and look up RTX. From here, you can find one of these packs and download it. And then once you grab one of these packs and download it to see if you do in fact have shaders enabled and functioning on your computer, you know you are good to go. And then you can double check by going into your settings, going down to video, and at the bottom of video, there should be a toggle here called ray tracing. So you can toggle that on and off in order to see the difference. So without ray tracing, everything looks kind of dull and non-reflective. But if I go back and re-enable ray tracing at the bottom of the video menu, you can see that everything looks a heck of a lot schnazzier. So with that out of the way, you can save and quit from this world and you actually close Minecraft Bedrock entirely. From here, all you gotta do is go online and look for some Bedrock shaders. It's actually pretty simple. You can grab them from different database websites that share user-made content like shader packs and mods and texture packs and all that good stuff. A couple legitimate sources are Planet Minecraft is a good one and MCPEDL. I'm not sure what that acronym stands for anymore, but I'm going to go to my planet Minecraft and what looks like a fun uh, shader pack. I'm going to say probably the radiant pack RTX because it's all glowy and that's one of my favorites. And from here, all you got to do is download the Minecraft bedrock texture pack, which is this button right here. So when you download these files, you'll know they're legitimate because the file type is MC pack or Minecraft pack. So we've already, I've already got this downloaded because I was preparing for this tutorial. So I'll just go to the folder that it's downloaded to and I'll double click on this radiant pack 1.0.10. And this should automatically install itself for you and do all of the work. You don't have to like copy files from one folder to another or delete something or enable something or install a secondary mod. It just does all the work for you because this is already built into Minecraft and it imports this pack for us to use. So once you've got your texture pack downloaded and you have it installed on your bedrock edition of Minecraft, then you can go ahead and assign that pack to a world. Because the way that this works is you can either use an existing world and edit it, or you can create a new world. And while you're creating a new world, we can just call this my super cool glowing RTX world. And down here on the left-hand sidebar, you'll see that there's these packs down here. You can click on a resource pack and go to the owned resource pack. And then you can say, oh, there's the radiant pack that we just downloaded. And you can see any other information related to it down here. But to assign this pack to this world, we just click activate over here on the right hand side and boom, this is now active on this game that we're about to create this world. And then we can change the settings or we can remove it by clicking on these buttons over here. There's not really a lot to change here, just the fog amount, yes or no. And you can also click on this to remove it if you assigned the wrong pack by mistake. And let's say I instead I wanted to add the deep sea mashup pack instead. Or maybe I don't see a pack that I wanna use and you can literally go look around on the marketplace if you have the marketplace pass in order to just grab packs at will. 
So with that assigned, we can just create this world. Let's just say this is a creative world just for my sanity. And then we will create it. And then boom, once the world is created, we automatically load into it and you can see all of our crazy new uh, shader packs and textures, which is most of the shaders. The textures look more akin to default Minecraft, but it looks a lot better. And shaders on the whole, I find, run a lot better when you run them through RTX on the Bedrock Edition. So if you have the option to try that, I definitely recommend it. It's very buttery smooth because it runs directly off your graphics card instead of involving other parts of your computer like your CPU, which is what can cause things like Optifine to bog down a little bit. So I hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a brief look at how to grab shaders and add them to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.